I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And he said, be thou made whole. What he said, your faith yeah. made you whole. Has made you whole. You see what I'm saying? So it, it took place in the spirit, manifested in the flesh. Yes. But it didn't happen like whoosh. Sometimes it did, and so I think he did on purpose for us. The woman that was sick, Peter's mother in law was sick. Praise the Lord. Or the centurion. The Bible says in that same hour. Come on, bro. Not that moment. That's yes. it. Come on, bro. The I'm manifestation was, was uh, it was I, easily attributed to the man that, 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 uh, it actually comes to, and that's what I, I think, and I may be wrong concerning this. I don't. I, if Jesus Christ is a very, um, I hate to say flamboyant. And I say Jesus or the Godhead itself is, is flamboyant, and it's, it doesn't allow us to take credit for what it's doing. Uh -huh. it, it says, "No flesh of glory in my presence." Okay. And we're not really trying to to, to prove the, and the universe isn't trying to prove the sovereignty or the or the uh, divinity of any man. Only thing it's trying to do is substantiate or uh, verify the, 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 the divinity of Christ, the existence of God, the divinity of Christ, and the Lordship of him. And that's why it says, every nation of bound, every tongue shall confess. So there's only one star on the stage, and his name is Jesus of Nazareth. All the things that surround him are things that, are, that's what's important, because there's no other name by which you can be saved. No, a man can be saved. Right. So there are manifestations that occur and noticeable, and for that purpose, solely for that purpose. I, I, I but see, you know? Elder, I'm just going to throw you in fact is, I am not going to, because I live, if, if the title of the day is live daily by faith, mm -hmm. I am not going to worry about what shows up because that is not my responsibility. It's not. It's not. No, no, you, no, you're, you're where, 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 where's the, where, where's the, where's the, the, the idea that that was a requirement. Well, so I'm saying it. So you saying that we should see it. I'm saying is by faith they are happening, and we need to just move. We just keep moving forward. Don't get disappointed for what you don't see. Man, oh, oh, I, I understand. Well, well, this to me, for faith, faith is is receiving the word of God and acting on it. That's it. If you say go lay hands on that person and then you lay hands on it, you've done your part. You did your they part. They may or they may not get healed. And, and I think when we, when we talk, if we, if we walk in accordance with faith, outcomes are not really something that we're interested in. I, I mean, it's, I say we aren't interested in it. It's not something we really seek out because we don't know what's going to happen. Come on, brother. Hey, look, uh, hey, brother. Nothing might happen. You might get stoned to death. You might get eaten by a lion or something like that. But all we know is what we heard and we move in front of that. But hey, what we have observed uh -huh. is that as, as we move, he glorifies himself through the action. Hey, look, that, that, that happens. <laughs> this, is, this is funny. I get out there when I read it. Brother Asa, this goes with saying what you were reading the other day about the uh, abrading, right? Abrading, oh, yeah. yeah. This is something different. Same chapter, though. Same verse, passages. Not that verse, but signs and wonders shall follow. <laughs> that, that tells me, Brother Asa, could you? From your perspective, follow me. If follow, I must have left. If it follows me, meaning it came after me, is what yeah. I'm trying to say. Yeah. Other word, it as I'm moving, it's coming. I'm moving right. I'm no, not doing have, that. We do have. In testimonies, and I think that's what Sandy overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. The scripture themselves talks about the works of the guys that came after Christ. You know, what happened with Paul? What happened with Peter? What happened with James, John, the rest of these guys? Uh, even with Stephen. Stephen was able to, to work miracles too, I believe. So that, that we we have examples of what we aspire toward in that the, the history is recorded in the first century church in the scripture. The question, the question I have to you though, you remember. And y'all, just check this out. Scribes wrote 
what they did, recorded what they said, right? Some case they may have wrote in letters, right? The ones, the ones about Peter walking by and the very shadow of Peter healed them, mm -hmm. right? Does that imply that Peter was, he gonna let his shadow pass by, then he turned around and wrote, hey, look, that person got healed. Somebody else recorded that. God is trying to say, I think sometimes we want to record that the elder just said testimony. It's, it's not your testimony, elder, that matters. It's the person who received the blessing, received the healing, just like if you receive about it, and you receive the healing, that's you give the testimony, but it may not have been you who did the praise. Somebody prayed for you. Some your mama prayed for you. I know mine did. Hallelujah. When, when I think it, when I think in terms of testimony, on a personal note, it's like I really think about what Christ did. I, 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 it's hard for me to attribute anything. It's not not like I know it's not true. I know there are, there are brilliant men and great men out there. But the greatness to me is found in Christ. And if you work through another person, that's a wonderful thing that the Lord allowed, I mean, that person allowed himself to do. But ultimately, it's, he's the only, for me, he's the only guy out there. You know, it's like if you got healed, it would cause for him. If you got saved, it's cause for him. If you got delivered, it's cause for him. Right. Whoever it was that he chose to work through, almost irrelevant. Um, that's, I think that's the whole point he's trying to say. That's why yeah, I remember it, by faith that it was healed, right? Because if they make a testimony, matter of fact, Elder, the testimony, I don't want them to give me the glory. Dude, you better not. No, <laughs> so it's my faith when Brother Adams is saying, I lay hands on the sick. Yeah, that ain't nothing. They got healed. Yeah. Faith. No, I remember, I remember the guys ripped their clothes when they tried to do that to them. You see what I'm saying, Brother Adams? I move because I'm moving by faith. I'm saying if something follow me, that means the only way I can see it follow me is I need to look back. He's not telling me to look back, is he? No, I think that if you're moving in faith, I mean, honestly speaking, uh -huh. like, even Jesus faith, knew faith is expectation of the works that he performed. Come on, so yes, it's, it is. It's, it's not something that you cannot witness, you know. Well, uh, I put it to you this way. If you don't see it, it most probably ain't going to happen because it's, I put it to you way. This is it had to be accomplished in the absence of doubt. That's a that's a that's a that's a point. It, 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 so it's like <laughs> if I flip the switch on in the, in the in the in the in the kitchen, I expect that light to come on. If that light does not come on, then there's something wrong, and I need to troubleshoot that. If we're doing something in faith, if God has told me that something's supposed to come fast. And I do what he tell me to do, and it don't come past. They're like, hey, man, you know, what went wrong there? Well, you what, know, what there's sure. something there. I want to make, sure. make sure we balance that out in the scriptures. Did Jesus, yeah, I, I don't think that we have to see Jesus, everything. Did some people that did that? Did Jesus try to heal some people? Did he always did he heal people all the time? He said in this town, he couldn't do my work. And he, and, he, and he identified the problem. The well, problem not him. It was so let me, let me, let me. Now, now, since you said that, something came to mind. But the the Bible says Jesus healed all those in that one setting. Yeah, in that particular case, in he that said he everybody came to him. Yeah. In that but setting, in his hometown, there was a different setting and yeah. different circumstances. Yeah. Yep. So. Prophet yeah. of honor, except in his own home. Hmm? Right? You remember that? Remember that? I, I, I didn't understand what you said. A prophet. Yeah, but, but in, in, in my mind, they saw Jesus as the son of Mary and Joseph. Exactly. They mentioned it. And. Uh, <laughs> So their hearts were hardened yes, sir. to that fact. Right. You know, who who is this exactly. praying over me? You know, I'm sick. Yeah. I don't need you praying over me. I need a priest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh I, I I can imagine how that happens, you know. I I I I actually one of my best friends. 
Uh-huh. We we're sitting up in his house. I, I was, uh, I don't know. Well, I guess you could call it ministering, but we, we were talking and I was, I was sharing scriptures to him and I was, I was, uh, uh, speaking Bible principles and everything. And he actually he looked over at his wife. I don't know if, if, if he thought I heard or if he meant for me to hear or whatever, but he said, look at this guy. I mean, we used to get hot again, man. He up here quoting scripture. It messed him up, man. <laughs> That's what I'm so, saying. And I think but now he did receive, yeah. but it, it 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 just messed him up because he didn't know how to take it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And look, let's use the example the elder gave earlier today. Go going in Walmart. They didn't see him as Elder Johnson. They saw him as a thief. Yep, that's exactly right. Yeah, but yeah. if that brother yeah. would have sung that song, Come on, they didn't know exactly who he was. <laughs> Come on now. That, that, hey, look, that's Same a good <laughs> The song I was thinking about singing in them when, when I. <laughs> that's, yeah, how's it been? What is your strength? <laughs> yeah, man, you sing that song, you get that cough out of you. I know, right, man? They're, they're walking in cardinality. I'm going after the flesh and the kill me. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's going to Hallelujah. You operate the flesh and die. <laughs> hey, look, instead of being spiritual, man, they can be cardinal. You got to stay in the spirit, man. You, you, you got to <laughs> But I mean, honestly speaking, I think that's an example of what happened to us when we step up into the flesh. Satan rules in the flesh. Right. Once yeah. you're operating in the flesh, man, you're through. I mean, you can't win now. So my, we, well, it's no good thing. It's no good thing. So it's like, it, and you'll begin to feel the impact of it on every aspect of your being. Yes, sir. So you spend some time looking at the few women to see how you feel the next morning. What you watch the wrong television program at night or watch the night and see what you feel like the next month. You feel drained, beat down, beat up. If you were sick, you feel sick. What if you spend time in the presence of God? Was it doing a spiritual thing or a cardinal thing or a psychological thing? Whatever time you spend in the presence of God, always feeds it to your spirit. It feeds it to you, period. Your body. Yeah. It says it's the spirit that gives life to our body. It plays probably nothing. That's right. That's the whole point. It doesn't profit nothing. And I can't afford it. No, I try not to get dwellers and I can't afford. Yeah. And, and the fact is, I, I, I'll tell you, man, I, a lot of cases, some of the other things on my mind is, you know, the, the, the 20 year old you see, the one that you're married to now was just like that. Maybe no, not. She a, is like that. Amen. I like that, bro. I like yeah. that. I ain't freaking. I ain't <laughs> Go ahead. You <laughs> maybe 60, but you, you hey. just like that 20 year old. No, she <laughs> is that 20 year old. Yeah, oh, is that. You heard that? You are that 20 year old. She is that. He spoke it. He spoke it. He spoke it. He declared it. Yes, sir. And and you know there's a scripture that said that he's the head of the woman and the, and the savior of the body? <laughs> That's some power, man. You get yourself in the right place over there. You don't know what happened. What's that? What's that scripture? Uh, yeah, he, he the, thought he not, the, not. He looked past the uh, the deadness of a body. The deadness of man. Look, if if you impotent, that's a scripture for you to hold on to right Woo! there. Hello. <laughs> look, look, that that'll get you right. Put your it, faith in that. Put your that's faith it. in that. Hey, hey, man, sometimes you need that. I mean, we, me, and, me and the pastor talk, we, we laughed about it. But when we looked that stuff up, I was like, wow, man, this man still was having children after. After, after Sarah died. Yep. Did he marry two, one or two with females? Yeah, that dude was putting it down. God, God put something on that man. Yep. And if he did, look, he ain't no respect of person. Yeah, come on now. So, so look. Uh, that, are you that, talking that, Look. All right, now. What's that, Mess around, put your faith in that, boy. Y'all be hurt. Y'all be, your wife be leaving. <laughs> don't, don't, 
Don't give that Jesus, man. That's as good as it gets. And that's the thing about it. And I like the fact is that the wife that you got is at the speed that you want to operate in. Yeah. That and that's fine with me, right? I don't know about you. Look, you pray that prayer and, and, and see how that speed you good. You be breaking the speed limit. Come on <laughs> but if as long as I'm comfortable, you know, the main thing is I need to make sure that I'm at the speed that she can deal with. Uh oh, look out now. Come on. Hey, now. Look, God, God, heard, God moved that. on Sarah too now. He did. But Sarah Sarah passed away. He was still see he 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 had to increase the speed for a younger woman. They could bear children. Right? I'm just saying, no, I'm you, well, I'm saying you, you, he said the continue. You tell me more children, I'm gonna laugh at you, man. Huh? <laughs> he said be continue with what you have. You tell me there was some more children, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start messing with you. Hey, what, what you been doing? You've been doing more than Bible study. <laughs> and that's another thing, brother. I said, hey, look, I ain't gonna I had, a, I had a son. I had a son at 45. Cut up, dude. That's what I'm talking 45. about. 45. Pop, so, you can tell look. children. What's a midlife crisis to a man that's going to live forever? At what point is that midlife? Am, am, I, am I at midlife? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what what is midlife? We to, 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 to an immortal being. Woo! Ain't doing <laughs> I, I ain't got no midlife crisis. I'm in more. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, because you renewed that. That's what. That's what we are. You it's hard. It's hard to define who we are to ourselves sometimes. I think that's what we're coming short at is that we don't really know who we are. Look, the, the, I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit be mouth, he be he fixed my mouth on a whole lot of stuff, man. I'm yeah. serious. I, there's a whole lot of things I used to say I can't say no more because <laughs> the Spirit puts me in check. You don't need to be saying that. That ain't. That's not who you are. Amen. Always showing me who I am. Amen. Amen. And I think it's the same. And I think I thank God for for the revelation. Yep. So, right, so 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 wrapping up because of the time, can you tell us what's the importance of day, living daily by faith, brother Hamilton? I mean, give us give us a victory word of encouragement. Victory. Uh huh. Victory. Does it stir you up? Is 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 uh important by living by faith daily daily uh, uh, encouragement come on now uh, 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 spiritual awareness come on now uh, uh, dominance oh no uh, signs following all right uh, uh, relationship love right. come on now joy come on now peace. come on now <laughs> so, so temperance come on. Don't temperance if I have a mind of Christ Amen. Yeah, daily. Yeah. All the fruit of the spirit is Ooh. available, and and, and 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 should be. It, it should be an example for you each day. I like you, should, you should I, you should express that. I like that this should be an expression of your life. I yeah. like that scripture where you when you read the fact is that there's life and peace. Yeah, for those who are in Christ in the spirit. Yeah, life and peace. Yeah. and peace. That's a benefit walking daily. That's a benefit, the peace of mind. But see, but check this out. Uh huh. But 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 outside of Christ is is the walking dead. Yeah. Right. Walking yeah. dead, and most people they separated, right? They disconnected. They, they disconnected the flow. No joy. They disconnected. Yeah. Flow. They may have their own joy, but they may it's they not. Right? It's not that you like Christ, you. Right. You're the blessing to add no sorrow. You have a party, not have a hangover. But I think, and I think that's the whole point. It's life, man. I think that's why it's so important to say daily. Because, you know, the day, yeah. I, isn't there one scripture, Brother Addison said, sufficient for the day? My is grace is. For the words of the day. Tomorrow should take care of things to itself. Oh, yeah, yeah. The fishing of yeah, the day. Don't worry about what you're doing. Don't get no the thought. Evil thereof. For the evil thereof, right? There's sufficient issues. Don't give any thought for the things of tomorrow. Come on, bro. Because you got enough to deal don't with. Don't give no thought for the things of tomorrow. Today. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. 
And I like this. You know, I, I have a I have a testimony for that as well. Come on, that gives when, it. When uh when when I uh, had congestive heart failure. Oh, and uh and uh when I was attacked with Come congestive on. heart failure. Yes, sir. Let me correct myself. And uh, I went to go see uh, my cardiologist uh -huh. when I was out of the hospital. Uh -huh. And he explained to me well, what happened. He said, you had the widow maker. Mm -hmm. And one out of four lived the actual experience. Yes, sir. And one in five lived 30 days after. And, and when he said that, I didn't plan on saying it or anything. I see you in 30 days came out of my mouth <laughs> without even thinking about it. But, but uh, when I got home, the enemy started attacking my mind. And it got to the point to where I became fearful to even go to sleep thinking I may not wake up. And a few days went by and I'm about to lose my mind sitting there. You got tired of when it's sleep, didn't you? And I know. You didn't go to sleep? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> I heard the spirit say, why are you worried? Tomorrow was never promised anyway. Ain't that something? And I went, boom, straight to sleep. <laughs> and, 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 and had a peace. From the, I mean, it was like, what? Why? Why am I carrying this bird? Yeah, I'm just go ahead. You know, I'm 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 already an eternal being. Yes. And if I'm living this day, why am I worried about tomorrow? I like that. That need to be part of the beginning of my video. <laughs> yeah, really. So...